Well, today is the match day. United is going to play away in Sheriff, that is Moldova. And obviously, United has gone strong. And I know in the next one hour, we are going to be here talking to you about what we think of the confirmed team news because Eric Ten Hag is really going to go in and really name his starting 11. We've already put in our predicted lineup as you saw it and match preview. And let's wait and see whether the manager is going to go strong as we really thought in here onto the channel, which goes by the names of United Matters channel. But today we have lots of things to talk about before this game of football. But at the end of this video, you're going to see what Ten Hag, Freddie, and Rashford have to say about this game of football. We are playing against Sheriff. And obviously, we are talking Chris Mason Greenwood update. Most of you needed to know what Mason Greenwood is all about because he was included into the squad that United submitted into the Premier League. I'm going to give you my view onto that. And you can also come in through and really tell me what you think about this. The other story... Ronaldo update in there for you and Rashford has been dropped by the England national team not called and obviously the confirmation is because he's injured and Rashford has gone ahead to put out a very clear message to the English national team and obviously Gary Southgate has gone ahead to acknowledge it and said everything is really going to be okay that Rashford really has a chance to make it to the World Cup squad after missing out on to this time around because of an injury. Rock and David is my name. United Matters channel is where you're watching me on and let's thrive into because today we are really going to have a very long day and i said if at all i don't really if at all i don't really bring you these stories now when will i bring them to you because i have a much i have a much build up i have the match reaction i have the player ratings i have the manager's reaction what else you get i have close to more six videos to do so and they are going to be all about the match. And if I try don't do them in today's tonight, then when will I when will I do them? That means I have to do them now. I have to do this story now such that I accommodate space or create space to accommodate the next story. Then United insist Mason Greenwood remains suspended being included in an official squad for the 2020-2023 season. This is Chris Welder. So everyone was really wondering that. Mason Greenwood, who is on bail and has not played for Manchester United since January, is, is in the squad that United submitted. Yeah, and for your information, he has been in that squad since he was even suspended. From January up to the end of the season in May, he was part of the United squad. Obviously, the only things they really got off the website is the merchandise that, really, that he really has. That he really... That he really has on the official website they're no longer selling shirts of mason greenwood or anything that has the name mason Greenwood on it until the court really gives its verdict whether he'll be proven innocent or guilty we are waiting to see what's going to come out from the court but obviously this has been done in a good spirit by Manchester United because if at all they really take him off officially of the united website and they don't submit him into the squad of united it will be like them admitting that he's guilty you get yet you are innocent until proven guilty by the court of law so that's why united did this in protection of mason greenwood such that if at all the lawyers go that because this this case no longer belongs to the girlfriend of of mason greenwood it was taken over by the state so the state the state lawyers if at all they really go in court and united really takes off greenwood from the 20 from the squad of players supposed to be in the Premier League, they can use it as evidence to the court that you see even the team that he has been playing for really has acknowledged that he's really a suspect. Sorry, that he's really guilty because they no longer consider they no longer consider him as a player of Manchester United. The only way he will be considered a player of United anymore is when the court gives its verdict and it doesn't lie in license with Mason Greenwood. That's it. So that's the main reason as to why he has been put into that squad and obviously has been the squad. And obviously it's something that we'll really wait to see whether he really he really proves guilty or innocent. So, but people are really talking about Mason Greenwood. They really want him back. But obviously, even if you really fancy to, for him to come back, he won't come back until the court really gives its verdict. So let's wait and see that verdict, that verdict, being given you get the reason why i've done this story i never want to talk about mason Green again until the case is really is really adjourned all done it's when it's because it's because uh very many people have been asking me about mason Greenwood in the comment section i know i remember very well 
ever since the transfer window have been asking me when is where is greenwood where is greenwood so i thought i was silent enough about him and i said when this surfaces united confirming are talking about him why not come here and we talk about mason green so i did the needful and really talked about the lad so after that marcus rashford has not been included into the english national team squad that's going to play in the uefa nations league i think they're going to play close to three games like one friendly and two uefa nation league games now gary southgate has said the following marcus rashford still has a chance of making the world cup squad having shown some courage some some encouraging signs recently he's a player we know well if he can perform at a high level in the next few weeks he of course will be under consideration to me i believe rashford is going to go to the world cup you see there are soldiers that southgate really believes in if rashford was taken to the euros when he's having an injury believe me not gary southgate is going to take him to the world cup and they are doing this for his betterment because united is going to be back in action on 2nd of october meaning close to two weeks and remember, ever since we played the game of Arsenal, Rashford has not been playing. So we played Arsenal. United played Arsenal, I think it was on the 4th, the 4th of September. Meaning that from the 4th of September up to the 1st of October, Rashford would have taken a rest of close to a, a month. Meaning that they are doing it in betterment of Marcus Rashford. Ten Hag has talked to... I think Ten Hag talked to Southgate, briefed him that if at all we really, he can play the games of football, but we don't want to rush him back because we believe, we believe if he's going to be so much useful for the England national team in the World Cup, he needs to be at his top level. And how does he get to his top level? Let him, let him, let him get healed. And obviously, we see him play the hectic month of October and then and then the world cup because after in october every i think every week unit is going to be playing two games meaning that the entire month of october is going to play close to nine games those nine games i think two three of those games are going to be uefa europa league games i think rashford won't feature but i think all the five premier league games you're going to play in october because there is a midweek tie we're going to play you get a midweek tie we're going to play that will see rashford play close to five games which won't be hard for him to go on and really get back to his full fitness and i know the manager of england also was in unison with the the manager of united so rashford is under consideration but to me i believe he's one of those players you know that's going to make it to the world cup squad that's it then <laughs> rashford after that he said good luck to the boys later today at Manchester United, in regards to England, every player wants to represent the country, and I'm no different. Unfortunately, I'm not ready yet, as I've picked up an untimely injury. That is Rashford. You know, talking of United, he's telling them good luck, guys, today, because they're in Moldova. They're going to play a side which goes by the names of Sheriff, and in the next 20 minutes, the lineup is going to be out. Then, after that, he talked about his willing to represent England, and he is really unfortunately unable to go on and really represent his team because of the injury he really got. So that is Rashford for you coming out and really putting out a tweet that has really wished United a very good game today in Sheriff and obviously reacting to what the manager said about him that has been really in blistering form. And obviously talking of him being in a blistering form, that's not a lie because in the games he played for united he has three goals and two assists meaning that he has played six games in six games rashford has five goal involvements what an output and if at all he can really get that form back in the game in the in the in the month of october then obviously he's going to be really a very big integral into this game of united then ten hag ten hag ten hag today ahead of this game you're going to play against sheriff had the following to say he said on the fans from what i experienced in bangkok melbourne perth they go everywhere they go also to moldova and it's great to get that that support of course last week we had a defeat so we need a reaction from the team so when you hear the manager calling over reaction i really believe that we're going to come up and really show up in this game of sheriff and we are going to be a very very different team altogether the spirits are going to be high because that is something ten hag won over 
the players of United. The fighting spirit is back. They now play for the team and they put their bodies on the line for the team. They play for the badge and he told them this is Manchester United. When you're playing for Manchester United, you have to be knowing that you're playing for the best club in the world, one of the best clubs in the world. And if at all you're playing for one of the best clubs in the world, you have to play like one of the best players in the world. That is Den Haag and his call. Then after, Fred Rodriguez had this to say. He said, it's going to be a difficult game against a good team. Sheriff are a high quality team. Unfortunately, we lost our first game, so we have to look to win. We know it won't be an easy game, but we will do everything to come away with the win. So, I believe Fred is not starting. Because if at all you see the website of United putting up such things and players coming out and really showing up like this, it's like an indicator that's going to start. The summer plays to Harry Maguire. When I saw when I saw the artwork of the game advertising the game of United versus Sheriff and Harry Maguire on it, I said, Oh my, oh my, let not let not this be true because the moment it's true, it will break me. You get I don't want us to suffer on the hands of Harry Maguire. That's it. But obviously, he might have been told by the manager that. I'm not going to play you in the Champions in the in the Premier League games, but you're going to play in the UEFA Europa League game because we are playing two games per week until the World Cup really commences. So you find it difficult to knock Harry Maguire out because there might be an earlier promise from the money that he was going to play all these games. So that really makes it hard to give him a judgment of not starting. But according to how badly we need this game of football, obviously Harry Maguire shouldn't start. I believe Lisandro Martinez and Rafael Verano should start and get us the win. Then the likes of Maguire should come in later because this win is needed badly. The back four we trust is Malasia, Dalo, Lisandro Martinez and Verani. You get that has got us four straight wins. And the moment we really got them out and made changes, guess what happened? We lost to a team which goes by the names of Shelf. So it means that any changes into that back four because everything that you are having is depending on a central defense because going forward, we only have cameos of going forward and those cameos result into goals. But the most important part of United doing the job is the back four that is protecting what we call David De Gea and obviously Casemiro coming in through giving us that shield of defense. So Freddie and Maguire starting, oh my God, it will be one of the shocks I would have seen in the four. Maybe the manager will go in for Casemiro, Freddie, and um and bruno then later he will plan to bring in ericsson and maybe other players to see to it that we really link up this play a lot in the second half of the game but i think the manager has to go on strong and really win it immediately as soon as the final the, the whistle is blown now after that there is a story i really want you guys to come on and really witness this is coming in from Portugal. The trio of United has been included into the Portuguese squad. And that is Diego Delo, Ronaldo and Bruno all picked for the Portugal international fixtures this month. Obviously, the old man out is Cristiano Ronaldo because Delo is really having a very fantastic season. Bruno has really gotten back to the Bruno we know. He's creating assists. He's really running the game in that central midfield, that central attack midfield area. And he is really doing a great job for United because the main job of Bruno is to give us control of the game and create assists. And to me, him scoring should be another option, should be an option. But his main aim is to go on and really provide assists and give us the drive and direction of the game. And obviously, for the previous, for the previous season, he really looked very bad. Not scoring goals, not putting in assists, but obviously he's back to where we expect him to be. Diego Delo, to me, is the best is the best right back right now in the Premier League because the stats indicate so, though people don't want to follow stats. But all those that have been rated as the best right backs in the Prem have been really have been really backed with stats. And obviously, the stats of Delo are better than any of the right back in the Premier League. It shows you how much Eric Ten Hag has really gonna hate to transform him to, to has, has gonna hate to transform him. And I really believe that it's really going to cause a lot of mayhem at the Portuguese national team because the manager is going to be it's going to be in dilemma. It's going to be between a hard rock and the press because he'll be asking he'll be asking himself, Delo on form, Cancelo on form and Mendes on form, what am I going to do? Then I think he will opt for Cancelo to play the left back because that's where he plays best at Man City and he'll put Dalo to play the right back and then be Mendes may go on the bench. So it's going to be a hard decision for the manager of Portugal to make. But 
Among us, all the players that have been invited, Ronaldo is one of those players that is really ill in form. And the manager of Portugal has gone ahead to say the following after naming Cristiano Ronaldo in his squad that is going to play in the UEFA Nations League. This is Fernando Santos, Portugal manager on Ronaldo. He said soon he will be a starter in the game with the Sheriff. I've been paying attention to him and everyone, whether they play or not, what is happening. I think no one here has any doubts that it is still that is still very important. So to me, I believe Ronaldo today is going to be on the score sheet because he's going to be playing alongside the first team as of United. And obviously, if at all Ericsson starts Bruno and Casemiro in that midfield area, Anthony and Sancho will be really got so much onto the ball. And obviously, we will see Ronaldo getting clear-cut chances and maybe clear second chances that can really turn around to go on and really score. So that is Ronaldo Cristiano and his manager of the national team. So guys, thank you much for watching again. First video of the day. More lots of video to come through. The match build-up is up next after getting the confirmed team news of Sheriff versus United, who is starting. And then I'll come here to really get you the best out of this. Thank you guys for watching in. Your reactions are welcome to the Greenwood and Cristiano Ronaldo update. Rashford dropped on the England national team. Fred Rodriguez and Ten Hag promise a win against Sheriff today. And obviously, that is what I had for you for now. May the Almighty God bless you abundantly. Rock and David is my name. Endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. I sign out for now. See you later in the next 20-30 minutes. I'm going to be live here with the confirmed team news of United versus Sheriff and discussing the best of that starting 11 and what Ten Hag is aiming hard to achieve in this game according to to the team who would have put out in that team. Subscribe to this channel, guys. We are left with close to 600 subscribers to hit 9,000 9, subscribers. And guys, let's do this for United. And the African fans, let's roll. And all those watching us outside Africa, you're really great. We don't take you for granted. And thank you for really being the viewers of this channel. If I told you feel like you, can, you want to support this channel, a super chat while watching this video won't be bad. Buy in those super chats. And support this channel to really get a brand new studio and many more. I'm out.